Hey, Michael, how you doing? I am just a step behind today, again. I think I'm ready. Maybe. So how are you doing, Michael? Oh, we got four people. Woohoo. Oh, we got to do all this stuff here. Yeah. Boom. Oh, take your time, Dave. No problem. I'll probably still be talking. <laughs> all hail Bigfoot. I'm doing uh, pretty good myself. I thought I was going to be a little later than I was because I had to go run somewhere real quick and do a, somebody a favor. And, and I still had to eat and feed two dogs and a few other things. And I got it done. And then we have skinks. Hold on. Let me do this. Early. Skink. Yeah, if anybody wants to join, have at it. It's going to be probably a few minutes before we really get started because um, Dave's eating, so you know we have to put everything on hold for Dave. And now Skink, that temperamental little minx. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, a pop, and I sh probably shouldn't have. And there's the rest of it. <laughs> I said, what the heck, I'm going to get one today, and I did. So if I start burping, it's it's Michael's fault. He's my Googler. Chug it along. Got the normal, same old, same old sort of thing. And Dave could have actually told us what he was eating. I just got done eating all kinds of potatoes, chicken, and then some kind of like peanut cake or something. Peanut butter cake, I guess. So I got fed today. It was actually pretty good. And I still stopped and bought six double cheeseburgers, four plain for the two dogs that I had with me. And uh, I had to eat one because I had to take a pill real quick. And then there's still one in the refrigerator. So I may end up going there and getting that, or maybe Jack will probably get it before me. I don't trust that little dog. And I keep waiting for him to come back, and he's not. And he's not doing it yet. Oh, orbit. Tis my orbit. Oh, wait, I, don't, well, I can't do that. Let me see something. Do we come and put in time out being a use? Okay, that's that didn't work. Okay, everybody say hi. I'm going to and actually, I don't know for those that were here um last week, but Dave, our very own captive desk, won the very first gift card. So I got that to him the very next day, and he already told me that he spent it on uh props. So at least somebody got something out of it. I got the pure joy of knowing that Dave got it. <laughs> oh, which was kind of weird because we had two people the same number, and I think it was 37. So I just suggested one of them, you know, change it. If not, you know, what's the odds of them actually hitting? Sure enough, the one that changed it uh, didn't get nothing, and Dave got it. Oh, well, it'd be a cool story to tell the grandchildren's. Okay, we got nine. I'm going to... Wait a second. Wait, let me double check. I thought... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, no. I thought Joe sent me something else, but he didn't. His face is... Literal. Yes, mine is. It's a perfect circle for oval. I can move back so I can see Okay, I get all wound up for this. I think I'm actually oh, no. We're gonna switch the questions with this. Okay. 
Hey, missing mod. I am Wundava, still breathing. How are you doing yourself? We're just getting ready to get started on the uh, trivia. Well, missing mods here. You know, we don't need Dave now. <laughs> Poor Dave takes a beating, keeps on eating. Yes, Missing Model was so excited about this. She was thinking it was Monday night that we do these. And or was that last night you thought it was? Tuesday night, whatever, one of the nights. But no, Wednesday. So I'm going to start asking questions and seeing who the smart one was. And I think I post put Pitt. Let me do this again just one more time. Hey, Speed, how you doing? For anybody that might want to jump on and take over this show, <laughs> it's yours. Yeah. Well, for me, every day is whatever day I want it to be. I can just say every day is a Wednesday or every day is a Friday or Saturday. Being on disability, and it sucks, to be honest. Some people enjoy that, not me. can do, do it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wait, I need to switch the format on this. Damn it. Here we go. I'm not even going to try to read this one. I think I can figure out how to pronun pronunciate it, but I don't want to be made fun of and I'll start crying. I skip Mondays. Uh, yeah, that's my whole life. Okay, there is the first question. What age milestone qualifies you to be a super centenarian? I'm guessing is how you would pronounce that. If not, we need something else. Oh, I didn't look at the answer, but I know. Nope. I'm going to say, Earl, you're not quite right. You're you're short. You got to realize there's, it, it's, it's, I guess you don't got to realize it, but it's actually two numbers. Okay, you're almost there, Michael. One more little kick and, and you'll be there. 110 is the correct answer by the orbit. I killed Earl allegedly. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait a second. Let me undo that. Booyah, game over. Thanks for coming, everybody. Earl won. Okay. What car company was named for the founder of Detroit? This one I didn't know. What car company was named for the founder of Detroit? Oh, there's that. Uh, uh, yeah, I figured 110 would be too high. Yeah, that's why I, I cut and paste it because it's like 10 10. Whatever it is. Chrysler isn't quite right. Well, actually, back then it wouldn't be. GM? Think of luxury, an American luxury car brand sort of thing. No, Ford is not a luxury. It's a luxury if it starts. Top of the line, El Dorado. Nope, getting closer. Pinto. Pinto go boom. We have a winner. No, the correct answer is Cadillac. Because we'd probably be at home. I couldn't even think of a, a better hint than I had because I suck. Okay. What publication makes weather predictions based on a secret formula developed in 1792? And remember, this is not a biblical question. <laughs> what publication makes weather predictions based on a secret formula developed in 1792? I guess I should look at the answer. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cadillac, damn, oh crap, well, I still have next week. The Farmer, Farmer, Farmers, I can't, can't pronounce it, Farmer's Almanac, yes. I know mine it has Earl and Michael N back to back to back, only two backs. 
Powderpuff Girls. Close, but not quite. And Speed wins it with YouTube because it doesn't matter what he says, he wins. Here is a golf question for you people that like to golf. What is the maximum maximum number of clubs a golfer may use in a round? What is the maximum number of clubs a golfer may use in a round? I heard formula. It wasn't baby formula either. Four is yeah the whole damn bag. And then some. Yes. Well prepared, Michael N. Eight is not quite correct. If if Earl would add 10 to her original answer, of course, that might be her only answer. She'd be spot on, which means that you'd have to do like six, Michael. I am not a golfer. That's why I always take a bogey. 14 is the correct answer. Damn. Earl's going to shut the place down with being victorious. Victorious. Okay, let's see. What color does the bride traditionally wear in China? What color does the bride traditionally wear in China? Oh, the Michael N had 14. Oh, some guys. Earl with red. Michael N with red. Speed with red. <laughs> or read, depending on how you look at it. Damn. Earl must have the uh, internet connection right now. Okay, here it is. What? Oh, what were ivories to an old West gambler? What were ivories to an old West gambler? Dice is correct. My first thought was pianos. Yeah, like then Earl pops it up, but nope. But they for the key word or would be for Old West gambler. So dice. Where did the first Dunkin' Donuts open? Where did the first Dunkin' Donuts open? We'll accept this, the state, and you get double points if you can name the city also. Whoop. Seattle, wrong coast. Try the other side of Snake Eyes. Seattle, Joyzy. No. Um, been reading a bunch on Old West recently, so it's all in the brain. It's insane in the membrane. Uh, this is uh, like a New England state. You got to figure out the city for yourself. The Duncan sign is a guy running away from America. Illuminate. <laughs> Boston. Well, we'll go ahead and accept that for the correct answer, just for the fact that I'm not even sure it's in. The state is Massachusetts, but it's Quincy, Massachusetts. So I don't know how far Quincy would be from there or, you know, yeah. Or since Orbit guessed Yukon, she wins. Or Yukon. Or just Connecticut, I guess. And she's even named the city. It's damn it, Connecticut. So she gets double bonus points on that. Okay. What is, let me see. Huh? What is added to vanilla ice cream to make New Zealand's popular hokey pokey flavor? I didn't know that was famous or popular. 
What is added to vanilla ice cream to make New Zealand's popular hokey pokey flavor? And don't say Ray Comfort either. And the kiwi. What is added to vanilla ice cream to make New Zealand's popular hokey pokey flavor? Let's see, I'll check for. I'd never get guess. Gonna guess some of them in the men. Uh, the correct answer is honeycomb toffee. Honeycomb toffee. I would have never known that. Now we all know this. Yeah, no idea. Here's to your you beer drinkers. The champagne of bottled beer has been what companies add slogan or which companies add slogan? The champagne of bottled beer has been which companies add slogan? Oh, oh. So Earl again with Miller. It, was Miller Light? No, just Miller Beer. Go back and double check. But Miller is the correct answer. Michelob is incorrect. That was before you were born, probably, Michael. The High Life. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, <clears throat> here's from like astronaut for a hundred. To any astronaut, what is an EVA? To any astronaut, what is an EVA? Always have a high. EVA, extra vanilla added. That's got to be the correct answer because speed, environmental something or another. Uh, give you the answer. Yeah, and I, I thought pilots use this term too, but maybe I'm wrong. But it's extra vehicular activity. I, I don't know why that would. It, exclude like pilots if they claim to see a ufo or something or whatever they call them now but anyway okay we're gonna have a nutty question let us see what it is what nut is hidden in christmas rice pudding pudding in sweden what nut is hidden in christmas rice pudding in sweden you sweden the Swedens. No Swedens. Walnut is not correct. But since Speed says that his is correct, because it has its plural and Earl's isn't, because that's just the wrong answer totally. So I don't know how to justify Speed and not. Pine nut is incorrect. It's. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> That's about the best hint I could do right now. Oh, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Wow, Orbit got it. Yay, these nuts, <laughs> these almonds, these almond joys. But Almond was the correct answer. Wow, she got that all by herself. Okay. Seriously? Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm, I may have to type this in there or cut. But xenophobia is the fear of what? Xenophobia is the fear of what? And don't say the fear of sinning. 
Is that how you pronounce Sino? Not sinning. No, that's a sinin. It's Sinophobia. Whatever that is up to here, I'll put it. I forgot. There we go. Sinophobia is the fear of what? Green? No, 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 no. This is what threw me off because. Wait, let me see if anybody got. Okay, I don't see any other answers. It's a fear of dogs. So why wouldn't it be canine phobia or something? But sinophobia. Oh, here's. Here's another fear of. I'm just putting this one straight in there. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Yes, it's the fear of dogs. I don't don't get it. Here's this one. It's another fear. So I didn't even. Pateraria hanophobia, also known as aerophobia, is the fear of what? Okay, I know the second one first. I didn't know. Let me see. Hmm. Fear of, yeah, just the fear of flying. Yeah, that air. Aerophobia is just the fear of flying, whatever the. Because first, when I first thought, I thought it was like a pterodactyl. It's like, what the hell? But then has a gun down there. Oh, here's another one. Okay, I need to get away from all these fears. Here we go. Legend says which pasta is folded to look like Aphrodite's belly button? This I did not know. I did not know. Scared or stuff. Scared. I fly in my dreams all the time. Just don't wake up when you're crashing. I don't know why. Legend says which pasta is folded to look like Aphrodite's belly button? This one I might have to just go ahead and answer because I'm going to answer it. Tor tortellinis. I did not know this. If I don't know it, no one knows it. That's the rules. Okay, wait, hold on. Go back and reread that. Sorry. Um, Spaghettios. Pescadios. Oop. Eh, get rid of that one. Okay, the next question. Uh oh, Jack and the, and the dog. Here we go. Do, 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 do. No, let's try. Approximately how far into the game was the fastest red card in World Cup history? Approximately how far into the game was the fastest red card in World History Cup? Or World Cup history, I guess. I should have read that before I read it. Five seconds. A little bit more than that. Under a minute. Just say under a minute, I'll say, yeah, you got it. I was trying to spell Pescadios. I would have never... Give me a damn second. Oh, my God. No, no, don't get my. One minute. Yes, there we go. It's actually. It says less than one minute at 56 seconds to be precise. Close enough. Okay, I need to get out some of this other crap. Okay. What spiced wine is traditionally consumed during the winter months and especially around Christmas? Yeah, I don't drink this stuff, so I would have no clue. What spiced wine is traditionally consumed during the winter months and especially around Christmas? Mulled wine is correct. Now, what is mulled wine? Because I don't have my Googler. 
Yeah, I really have no idea. Now, would the sangria be a, a mulled wine? Or is that like, yes, Miller High Life. It's the champagne of wines, beers. Oh, so just any wine you could you you add like say apple spice for some reason or cinnamon or okay now I know I need Joe's little the, the more you know or whatever because it doesn't sangria mean like blood and Spanish or wait somebody said they win yay I win okay he, he did good okay I got to I can't multitask like that okay here's one for all you Santa Claus believers what is Santa's Postal code in Canada. What is Santa's postal code in Canada? Whoop. Yeah, I'm I carry in. And then we got the rainbow. Oh wait, what was the question again? The question is, what is Santa's postal code in Canada. Big Bad Mama has it. It's ho, ho, ho. I'm just going to say all three of them together instead of splitting them up. Big Bad Mama takes control of the board. Just not Earl clean off it. Uh oh, here we go. Who does an angel place? Wait. Who does an angel placed on top of a Christmas tree represent? I did not know this. Who does an angel placed on top of the Christmas tree represent? Me. Speed wins again. Yeah, I actually did not know this actual. Nope. It's actually, it's actually greater than an angel, I guess, in ranking. Oh, uh, this baby Jesus in diapers. He's my favorite Jesus. No, it's actually an angel. It's an archangel, if that helps. And, and Gabriel. Yes, the pagan god, the archangel Gabriel. Dark Dawkins. <laughs> okay, dokey. What is? Let me see. Huh? Okay. I guess we're in, we're in Christmas trivia for some reason for a minute. What is the curved part of the candy cane known as? What is the curved part of the candy cane known as? I guess there's a name for everything. Damn it, I was going to say Gabriel, but it seemed too easy. Cricket or took it? It no crook. It's the candy elbow. <laughs> it's the crook. It is it starts with it's 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 like a word that starts with a W. And it might have like an a in it, an R, a B, maybe an L and an E. And that would be seem too obvious to be a warble. Yeah, it's called a warble. I do. I think I like candy cane elbow better. Wagon, warble. There we go. War, warble. Big bad mama's taking it over. Okay, uh, you guys are probably smarter than me to get this. What was the inspiration behind Nabisco's Animal Crackers? And then seeing the answer, it's like, okay, I, that makes plenty of sense. Whoa, back. Wait, where's the question again? I forgot to read it twice. 
What was the inspiration behind Nabisco's Animal Crackers? We will take the sir. Okay, hold on. Noah's Ark. <laughs> there we go. That's bonus points. Whoever that's Big Bad Mama gets bonus points for saying the Ark. Um, I'm going to. Ex yeah, we're gonna go on my board. It shows Carrie Ann, and I'm still taking Noah's Ark. That that was a circus in itself from Big Bad Mama. Then we have Michael N. Orbit Speed. Uh, P.T. Barnum, actually, uh, it's from Barnum and Bailey Circus. The classic treat bears the name of Barnum's animal after famous showman P.T. Barnum, founder of Barnum and Bailey Circus. The, now you can go to bed knowing that and feeling so, you know, tingly inside. Okay, here we go. What fresh herb is used in a mojito cocktail? I guess that's mojito. Mojito, yeah. What fresh herb is used in a mojito cocktail? Oh, did not realize this was Cuban drink. Weed, weed. What's that? We always accept the weed oh tell me earl is taking the throne back because i see earl carrie ann beck big bad mama michael and we're taking we have got to take speed because he, he's always right weed okay there we go now we need let me see and it says mint a simple cocktail made of rum lime mint and sugar the drink's roots are tied to Cuba, which natively produced all the key ingredients. Kaboom. Okay, we're not doing football. Where was the Rolex watch company founded? Where was the Rolex watch company founded? Do -do -do. I don't know if I've ever had a mojito. It's a delicious. Oh, I see dog butt. Dog tail. Dog butt. Puppy butt. Hey, Robin. Switzerland. Oh, wait, I got to ask it. Well, what's the question? <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, we're going to go with Big Bad Mama. It is actually the UK. When I saw the answer, I was surprised. It's uh, in 1905, Hans Wilsdorf began to create the wristwatch in London. He used Swiss mechan mechanicisms to design a timepiece that was as precise as it was stylish. Mechanisms. Why don't I keep? Jeez. Try this again. Okay. How in the hell? Uh, we're not doing that in the chef's head. Here it goes. Okay. The ballpoint pen was invented to replace what faulty writing instrument? The ballpoint pen was invented to replace what faulty writing instrument? And I have to go back and check. Oh, I forgot to look at all this stuff. The weed. We're back on the weed, Michael. Oh, no, it's back. Oops, BMM. Trick question. Hey, Sydney. <laughs> Lennox, Alabama. Nib, pencil. The bologna sandwich. <laughs> Once again, weed for 100. Um, let's see if it is. It's, it, it was the fountain pen. Introduced in 1945, ball pen, ballpoint pens used quick drying ink and a ballpoint, which eliminated the fountains pen to tendency to leak and smudge. Your nose is cold, dog. What? Did you just come in from the outside? Okay, here we go for all you bakers and, and stuffers. What? Oh, are you going to go or not, dog? Go, get, get, you bowl, go. Don't, don't go. Take your time. Thank you. All right. 
What is the spice paprika made of? What is the spice paprika made of? That's the, that's how it reads. It's Mountain Sydney Jack. Yes, paper. We'll go with peppers. Michael N. Beck. And speed with weed. <laughs> go speed. Chilies. That's uh, yeah, because it says either bell peppers or chili peppers. This is this is for your chesty people. Without the T, I guess. Chess. <laughs> Chessie? Chessie. Like Chessie's girl. Anyway, forget it. What two pieces are moved in chess? Castling maneuver. What two pieces are moved in chest castling maneuver? Dee, 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 dee. Typing is hard. Couldn't you tell? You the pepper though. Paprika tree. Of course, David. I am a chesty person. The rook and the king is correct. Castle King. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, everybody. Weed. We're going to have a contest between... Um, I like boobies, though. Orbit. I'm sorry. The block check, check. The black checkers. Okay. I'll write for you intelligent writers. What does PS stand for at the end of a letter? What does PS stand for at the end of... A letter. This sounds like a Karma Sutra position. <sighs> Karma Sutra. I haven't played it. Postscript. Earl. Dave. Sydney. Carrie Ann. Michael. Beck with a real answer that didn't say weed, but it's coming. And Hey Missing Mod. And then we got speed. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. Okay. Okay, here's for you blackjack peoples. What must a Las Vegas blackjack dealer do when they reach 16? What must a Las Vegas blackjack dealer do when they reach 16? Weed. The correct answer is well, make sure. Do, 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 do. Yep. Michael Lynn, you they got a hit on 16. Carrie Ann got 16. Speed's got smoke weeds. We got that covered again. Um, you know, we only split on doubles. Double down. Stand. That got hit. Learn, learn to drive, high desk, weed. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. What do you get by mixing ginger ale with grenadine and a cherry? What do you get by mixing ginger ale with grenadier and a cherry? Smoking weed. I'm a card sock, so yeah, yeah. I guess it. Earl with Shirley Temple, followed by Speed. Uh, Beck's going to have a hangover after having a few Shirley Temples. Sydney. And then Carrie Ann with Shirley Erie. Shirley Lee, Lee Temple. Cheryl Lee, Lee Temple. Or maybe not. Bingo. Uh, 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 we did this one before we know that. Okay. Okay. In 2014, which NBA player set the all-time record for most missed field goals? 
this surprises me when I see the answer, but in 2014, which NBA player set the all-time record for most missed field goals? And for those that don't know, this is a basketball question. The tall one. Maybe not. Sugar high. Me, the tall one. I had to smoke. Start smoking. Boo, sports balls. I was I was going to make a basket until I got high. No, it wasn't Will Chamberlain. Remember, Will Chamberlain wasn't playing in 2014. NBA, National Basketball Association. Kobe, Robin got it. I'm surprised anybody got that one. But, yeah, Kobe Bryant. Um, I'm going to read. I, I, this amazes me. The Mamba, you, th you think, was a sharpshooter. All-time great Kobe Bryant ultimately finished his career with 14,400 and 81 missed field goals. Um, no, we don't joke. Trivia is something we take serious around here, Beck. Oh, yeah. Whew. I must, I must lost it for a second, guys. Beck doesn't, Beck don't know. Yeah, when you when you shoot, anytime you shoot at the basket, that's a field goal attempt. How about round balls that have divots in it, like golf? Yeah, kick that dude. He's being ugly. <laughs> it's hard to kick the ball into the basket. This is true. Unless you're uh Oh, the guy from friggin' uh, Luke or Lock, what's his name? From Dallas. He just did the other day. He kicked one up or like soccer style. Okay, we're going to stay in sports for a minute because we got some, I'm, we're doing them. It's my party. I'm going to cry if I want to. Okay. The 1919 World Series Black Sox scandal involved players doing what? The 1919 World Series Black Sox scandal involved players doing what? Kick field goals and free throws. Smoking weed. Gambling. Well, we're going to take gambling. Cheating, throwing a game is actually what they 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 did. Um, but this says throwing the game. A group of White Sox players. Oh, oh, hold on. Damn it! I hate that. Some updates and has to throw you a thing up there. But what did I say? A group of White Sox players let the opposing Cincinnati Reds. Win in exchange for a hefty six-figure payout, which they never got. Um, so that's kind of a misnomer. Okay, we know everybody knows about the miracle on ice. Okay, we just had that the other day. Okay, well, maybe not. Okay, here is a political question. I'll have no clue. What English party was politician Arthur Hayday associated with? What English party was politician Arthur Hayday associated with? I have no clue. That's why I read it. I don't see who, who the smart ones is. is he, not me. Those bastards. We smoke all night. <laughs> Shoeless Joe Jackson was one of them. He didn't. He, he never took a cent. Um, Tory, Tory's box. Ooh. What's the question again? I'm having a feeling. Labor. There we go with that one. Big Bad Mama. Labor Party. Unless somebody else did one and I just missed it. Did it? Box American keg labor. Robin got labor too. Okay. Huh? 
that's an easy one. Okay, what company developed the Pander graphic calculator but never put it into production? What company developed the Pander graphing calculator but never put it into production? Man, I should be reading these questions better because that is that would be sucky. Sony is incorrect. Kia. <laughs> Texas Instruments. Toyota. Casio. Um, how about it's two words with a hyphen in between it and one's like an H and the other one's a P? <laughs> Okay, IBM is similar, I guess, to H hyphen P. Microsoft is similar to it, yes. Hewlett Packard is the correct answer. You guys just... There we go, finally. The orbit. And had to lead Sydney down the right path to this. What is the Italian word for ice cream? What is the Italian word for the ice cream? Close enough. Gelato. One T. So we got, hell, y'all popped up. Earl, Speed, and Dave, and then we have Carrie Ann on, on a planet of our own. And, of course, we all know that in Italian, gelato means weed. So, Beck is also correct. <laughs> it's Italian ice cream. Oh, got to fight with these people down under. Bad. Oh, wait, here we go. What is the leading cause of death in the United States? What is the leading cause of death in the United States? Heart disease. Orbit for the score. Heart failure, we will accept. Republicans. <laughs> Old age. Dust in my veins. There, I think Michael should have been a doctor. Health disease caused by excessive weed usage. I think, and, and I think specifically in the YouTube world. Okay, the next question. Oh, that's too easy. Everybody knows that one. Okay. Oh, we're going to get into religious. We might burn. What is the Christian holiday falling on the Thursday before Easter? I didn't know there was a name for this. I guess I do now. What is the Christian holiday, holy day, falling on the Thursday before Easter? No, no doctor is too hard. I'll stick to machines. <laughs> Followed by cancer and gun death. Mer yeah, that's what. Or here I'm, It's either Holy Thursday or the Maudy. M-A-U-N-D-Y Thursday. I've never heard of this. So that's probably like has to be. It might tell you how much I paid attention in Catholic services. Let me see if anybody else has got the answer. Passover, Maudi, okay, Thursday, Passover, Lent or something, get absolutely. Hey, Perp, how you doing, girl? Brain fart, brain fart. Okay. What cheese is traditionally used on a Reuben sandwich? And I love these things. Oh, to die for. What cheese is traditionally used on a Reuben sandwich? Payday. Oh, they're up there. I see Swiss Orbit. 
followed by Beck. Um, and then Carrie Ann's distracted with pots and pans again. Speed with Swiss. Swiss. Um, and Michael's defending something again. In my defense, it's been over a decade since I went to church. You heathen. You would have known the answer if you would have just gone, but you knew Swiss. Um, I did not realize Thousand Island was a, a cheese, but we do now. Thousand Island is the official cheese of Rubens in Michigan everywhere. So you got Munster, Herp, or Swiss, the Gouda. Okay, we got the Gouda. I'm not doing that one. Okay. What destructive party item was banned in Hollywood on Halloween starting in 2004? What destructive party item was banned in Hollywood on Halloween starting in 2004? I did not know this either. Didn't care, but I do now. Oh, Carrie Ann got it. Jeez, Silly String is the correct answer. Clown costumes, bottle rockets. So why is Silly String so destructive? I would think like bottle rockets would be uh, the thing, but this has nothing to explain it. I will have to go to bed wondering what happened. Okay, let me go back here just before I read this one. Oh, it kills wildlife. Ah. So let's see. Yeah, me too. Anyway, what type of clothing item is a Sam Brown? No clue. What type of a clothing item is a Sam Brown? Tis not a hat. Tis not a scarf. Hat, 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 scarf. It's not gloves. It's not a hat. You might want to use this to help hold your pants up, maybe. I don't feel so bad. Everybody else is like, I'm, I'm not the fashion guru. I scoffed. Weed. Big Bad Mama has it with belt. So I don't feel so dumb. So dumb. But then we got... Big Bad Mama, Earl, Suspenders is close enough, Beck, Michael, close enough, I can. A sand brown color. <laughs> the belt, the belt. Okay, how many sheets of paper are there in a ream? Keep your minds out of the gutters. How many sheets of paper are there in a ream? Uh, okay, we got lots of hundreds, which is incorrect. We got a thousand which is actually probably closer than the 100. Uh, 500. Big Bad Mama got that one. And Speed gets it because, you know, there is one ream in a ream. So he wins by default. Anyway, uh, then Sydney. Oh, then we got Earl. Well, hell, if 100 ain't good enough, let's go for 10,000. Shit, we ain't going to be running out of water paper for a while. Hey, Justin, where, where are we going to put all this paper at? Ride the wave, girl. 
Okay, here we go. What's in that one? Don't know. Okay. Excluding the umpires. I don't even know. This is, I, okay, we'll just read it. Excluding the umpires, how many players take part at the same time in a game of cricket? I know nothing about cricket. I've seen it. Don't understand the rules. It's kind of neat, but. So excluding the umpires, how many players take part at the same time in a game of cricket? There's the answer. Here we are. Ten. Oh, wait. 2K. 10. Note idea. 12. Oh, wait. 12's close. 12 is the closest one I've seen so far. Oh, and 14, so it's like in the in between those two. We've got a seven. We got a cricket. Wake up, Sydney. Eleven. So it's like between 12 and 14. Does that help? 12, 14. Robin got it with 13. She she got it. She used magic though to figure it out. Ooh. Oh, so I never would know what it, what that was. 12.67. <laughs> okay, here's this kind of goes along the same lines, I guess. On which wedding anniversary would you buy your partner leather? I don't need an anniversary. If we're together, I'm going to get that strap one way or the other. Oh, wait, sorry, that's something else. On which wedding anniversary would you buy your partner leather? This is, oh, yeah, five is not the, 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 the what? No, bad people. So let me see, 12.7. Go, Robin, five. No, no. The honeymoon, big bad mama. Once again, three. Leather is the third. Anniversary presents. If people can last that long married. Okay, we're going to... What is a coronet? And this is throwing me off, but I guess this is not what I'm thinking it is. What is a coronet? That's what it's a, weed. Yes, the weed. Kobe B. Go, I only lasted five. Weed. No. See, and that's what I was thinking, because this isn't like a, a coronet, and maybe it's the spell. I, but let me put it in there. But Big Mad Mama got it regardless, because uh, it's a crown or a Hold on. I'm going to put the whole thing in there if it lets me. Here we go. Yeah, because I thought it was like a a trumpet sort of thing. Right there. What's well, a clarinet? It's a small or simple crown. The coronet. Oh, wait, I guess it's, we're, we're done fighting over the clarinet. Okay. I dodged. My first wife had a duster. I loved it. Even though it was only a six on it, it was fun. Until I wrecked it. That's not a tiara. That's a coronet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I have so much to teach Orbit. So little time. I know about Tierras. Oh, wait. It's gone. Okay, so much for that. I tell you what's in that. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to pronounce this right. What is a Rosti? I'll put that in. I'm sure you guys already know this, and I don't. Do, 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 do. 
What is Rosti, Rosti, Rastafafa, Farah? I know it's a different one. Weed. It's got to be weed. <laughs> it gets rusty. Oh, I get it. Oh, hell, Bigfoot. Go back to sleep, Dave. You're supposed to be eating. Rastafara. No, what a what Rasta is is a pancake of fried grated potatoes or potatoes, depending on. I'm not doing that one. Okay. Potato dish. Okay, here we go. Weed. What was the first produced? Huh? Oh, God. Let's try this again in English. What was the first product to have a barcode? What was the first product to have a barcode? The Mark of the Beast. Hash browns. That sounds good. Milk indigo. Oh, yeah. My forehead. No, 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 no. I forgot the fucking answer already. Oh, no, I do. I know. I remember now. Weed. Oh, wait a second. I got the hint. Cigarettes is not it. Oh, I ain't got the right kind, though. It's kind of like this, but it's a different brand. Oh, I guess I should take down the Rosti. Gum. Wrigley Gum was the first product to have the barcode. Just a smart. A bologna sandwich. No, it was Wrigley. Wait, make sure. Yeah, it just says Wrigley gum. It doesn't say what flavor. What is another word for, for a bird watcher? What is another word for a bird watcher? Hold on. Just the bird watcher. Keeping Tom. <laughs> See, I would associate the answer to this one to more of a, a zombie game because it's saying a twitcher. And I'm guessing if you don't shoot a zombie just right, don't they still twitch? Fine. Tough crowd. A loofah is a type of what? Now, this is something I've got to go look up. A loofah is a type of what? I'm actually looking this up. Oh, no wonder. Okay. Well, and that's why I looked it up. It's not a sponge because that's a loofah. I should I should have put it in there. This is saying 
The loofah is L-U-F-F-A. And the answer says it's a type of plant. So I looked it up and it's a like genus of vines. Lufa is a genus of tropical and subtropical vines in the pumpkin, squash, and gourd family. So you, whoever's putting gourds and squash, you're 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 in like Flynn then. But I didn't realize like the, the fufu lufa was spelt different, or I would have put it in there. Go ahead and tell me it's rigged. How many stars are on the flag of New Zealand? How many stars are on the flag of New Zealand? Five is incorrect. Three is incorrect. Go in between those two and you might find the right answer. One is wrong. 24 is definitely out there. My garden channel grows it to make homemade soaps with. Beck has it with four. Four stars on the New Zealand flag. Oh, I know this one. What is the seventh sign of the zodiac? What is the seventh sign of the zodiac? Crab is incorrect. That's what you get if you stick your somewhere somewhere else without being protected weed they are numbered orbit of all people you should know this <laughs> my birthday is in october if that tells you anything Okay, I'm going to give you the answer. The answer is Libra. But how do we get the seventh zodiac sign in the 10th month? I don't get this. Don't fight the facts, Orbit. I just... Okay, here we go. What is... Okay, we don't want that one. What? Okay, I've never heard of this. So we're going to ask it. What cut of beef often used for hamburger is also called the seven bone steak? What cut of beef often used for hamburger is also called... The seven bone steak. We're going to go with orbit with Chuck. The Chuck steak is the actual answer. So she, she gets it. She gets it. She got it. She wants some more of it. The knee, your mama, <laughs> baloney. Okay. What common object is it designed to recall the blood stained bandages of medieval times? What common object is designed to recall the blood stained? Bandages of medieval times.
black light speed with barber pole is the correct answer. Good one. What trade name comes from the combining the French words for velvet and hook? What trade name comes from? God, try to scan in English and give her this gum. What <laughs> trade name comes from combining the French words for velvet and hook? Dave with Velcro. I was going to guess Bell Hooker, but they wouldn't accept that. That so it was Dave and then Sydney. Cats out and about. There's going to be a fight. Okay, the next one is going to be. Have, this is for our, our Canadian friends. If they can handle it. Which city is home to the Blue Jays baseball team? Anybody in the baseball could guess this one, but you think if you lived in Canada, you might know where this was. Yay, Dave got one. Which city is home to the Blue Jays baseball team? So, oh, no, Dave actually got it first. Let me double check. Dave with Toronto. Speed with Acapulco, which they're pretty close, I'm sure. And Sydney with Toronto. Beautiful. Okay, here's another Canadian one. What is Canada's $1 coin commonly referred to as? What is Canada's $1 coin commonly referred to as? I'm actually a Cubs fan in the National League, but ultimately I'm a Yankees fan. Go Yankees. A Canadian dollar. That's close. But you have five cents. <laughs> Crap. I was on a roll, too. You blew it, Dave. What is the Canadian... What was I got to remember the stupid word? What is the what is Canada's one dollar coin commonly referred to as? And I won't, I can't even give you a hint because I don't think what I what I'm thinking it is is what I think it is. Because well, since nobody's really getting it, oh there it is, Michael N got it, Looney. I was going to say something about a duck. I thought they were ducks or something, but I wasn't sure. But the correct answer is a loony or weed. Um, either one of those exchanges will, will, will work for this question. Yeah, where's, the, yeah, where's that one you need them? Earl. I realize you don't have your head covering on, but don't ever accuse me of being from Kentucky. I'm just north of Kentucky. I live in Indiana. <laughs> so we're allowed to be Yankees fans here. <laughs> oh, God. My itch. Oh, my skin's itching again. You call me a Kentuckian. Ugh. Oy vey. I thought, I thought I was special. Oh, well. Okay, loony, loony, loony. Here we go. On which three days of the week is December 25th more likely to fall? On which three days of the week is December 25th more likely to fall? It's still sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like other the teams. It's a terrible. Oh, wait, I got to go back to the answers. Okay. Okay, one of the days is Sunday. Thursday is not one of the answers. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
two of the three days for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are correct. And since I already told you Sunday was one of them, wow, you guys, let me see. It's two, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, that's, no, no. Potiphal. Um, I won't go north of the Makes and Dixie line. <laughs> we mean again? Okay, the correct answer is the three days that are most likely or more likely to fall on December 25th are Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Okay, here we go again with the zodiac sign. What is the tenth sign of the zodiac? What is the tenth sign of the zodiac? Oh, wait, I gotta look at the okay. Whoa, what? Uh, Sagittarius is not correct. Virgo is not correct. Capricorn is what we're looking for. Now, remember that answer you, or, well, no, you've got three there together. You're bound to hit one of them. Now we're going to go, <laughs> what is the sixth sign of the Zodiac? What is the sixth sign of the Zodiac? This is the last one. I don't care if they have more Zodiacs coming. I ain't doing them anymore. The lobster because they are God. Silly old shit. I'm a Capricorn. Leo. Cat. No. God, cat ass. That's a little kitty. She's only like she just she's poofy. It's funny when she's wet. Virgo is the correct answer. Uh, so Beck got it. It's a kitty kitty. Up oh, and there's the doggy doggy. One eat the kitty kitty. Okay, I'm gonna read again. Which floor of the Guinness storehouse houses the gravity bar where tourists can drink a pint of Guinness? Which floor of the Guinness storehouse houses? The gravity bar where tourists can drink a pint of Guinness. Oh, I did. did, did. Yes. And, and amazingly enough, my dog's also from Ohio. So it, it worked out real well. Um, fifth floor, not quite high enough. The basement, way low. I didn't even know what the top floor is, so I, I'm screwed. And if... The fifth floor isn't quite high enough. The fourth floor isn't either. Give me that dumb question again. What floor of the Guinness storehouse houses the gravity bar? So do they float around zero space? I, I don't get it. Um, the attic. Psycho bastards. 13, 24th. In the, I think that's the answer right there. In a the little camper out back. The correct answer is the seventh floor. So I don't know how high, how high the building is or if that is the top floor. Or, um, but a gra I don't, I could probably do a gravity bar. I just don't, wouldn't, don't want to drink a Guinness. I don't like Guinness. I'm leaving oh, the liver party. Wait, I'm trying to find a good one. Come on, I don't want no run of or drinks. We don't want drinks. Okay. I don't want that one. Okay, got to refresh. Okay, 
I don't even know what this is. It sounds funny and cute. I'm going to post it so you don't think I'm making up words. Okay. What com what comes out of a hawse hole? <laughs> Whatever the Whatever a Hawes hole is. Debunk. Oh, wait, I gotta find the answer to this. Okay. Weed. Weed, weed is the correct answer. What comes out uh, a hawse hole? I'm going to just read it. It's the ship's cable, whatever the hell that is. Um, the organization PETA stands for people for what? So, in other words, what's the ETA? stand for the organization PETA stands for people for what ethical treatment of animals I believe that is correct people eat taters all day <laughs> ethical treatment of animals ethical there we go so Dave should be smarter now. Okay, here we go with, let's see. What was the real, ooh, let's try this again. What was the real last name of American folk hero Johnny Appleseed? What was the real last name American folk hero Johnny Appleseed? People eating tasty animals. Extra toppings always. You guys are going to hell. Seed, fuck me, Smith, Johnson. Fiji. Um, his last name was Chapman. C H A P M A N Chapman. Don't know how that ties in there, but that's what it is. What color is the legendary Hope Diamond? What color is the legendary Hope Diamond? I'm Speedy Weedy Seed. And Earl, Michael, N, Carrie Ann, Dave, Beck, all with blue, and Sydney's colorblind, so we'll say pink is really blue. And then Romans, you know, since purple rhymes with orange and black is the, the new orange, that's the correct answer, too. Yeah, we'll fit them all in there somehow, some way. I need to get that ha ho or whatever. Okay, we got time. We got time. Here we go. What is a oh? Well, this can be really hard. Which book of the Bible recounts the story of Noah and the ark? The baloney book. Which book of the Bible recounts the story of Noah and uh, the, 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 the one? The Genesis is, we got two Genesis is, is three now, four. Holy shit. We got Earl, Dave, Sydney, Carrie Ann, Michael, Earl again. Then we got Beck doing the Ten Commandments because you know how you can't have the Noah's Ark without the commandments. Then we have the Kent Owens version. <laughs> and just like the new car, Guinness. 
No, no, that's not Guinness. It'd be Genesis. Steven. All right. What actor director debuted in his own brand of beer in the late 1980s called Pale Rider Ale? What actor director debuted his own brand of beer in the late 1980s called Pale Rider Ale? And there's a movie title in there somewhere. Clint Eastwood. Here we go. So we've got Kent. No, we're not going with Kent Hovine. Kent Bovine. Uh, we got Dave, Earl, and Carrie Ann. The card game Penguin is a variation of what other card game? Did not know this. The card game Penguin is a variation of what other card game? Rolling, rolling, rolling. No idea. Rummy. Bullshit. No rummy. It's almost like you're playing cards by yourself. I wonder what you'd call that. Hmm. If it's a card game for yourself and you played it by yourself, wouldn't that be like a variation of another game called, and I can't remember what it's called. Oh, wait, Solitaire. There we go. We got Speed, Earl, Carrie Ann, and Michael, who's never heard of a penguin. How do you think they got it on the friggin' Noah's Ark? Oh, we got another Solitaire. Then we got what Dave does regularly because he is a master baiter um, and Bigfoot enthusiast. Uh, let me see. What is the name of Ronald McDonald's big purple friend who loves McDonald's milkshakes? What is the name of Ronald McDonald's big purple friend who loves McDonald's milkshake? And don't say Barney. That will get you disqualified. Donald Trump. <laughs> Orange was not mentioned. Purple was. So we've got Dave with Grimace. Stephen with Grimace. Michael. And then we got I Killed Her, who's a grandma maniac killer. And then we got Sydney, who thinks it's a hamburger is purple. Oh, true. God created a special firmament over Antarctica for the flood is my guess. <laughs> Carry in for the win. Grimace is the correct. And Puffin stuff was orange. I mean, HR Puffin stuff. I can't believe I remember that. Uh, oh, what U.S. state's name is the first M of the 3M company? I wonder what the other two would be for. What U.S. state is the first M of the 3M company? Massachusetts is not correct. Firmament, oh damn. Cleveland would not be an M, except when Speed puts it in there. So I used to call my Chihuahua Puff and stuff. Ugh, I call it Rat and That. Michigan, Massachusetts, Michigan, Maine, Minnesota. Let me see. Okay, Minnesota is the correct answer. And the first one that popped up would be Earl, then Speed. Then Montana. No, no. Chinchilla. Oh, Chinchilla. Oh, thank goodness, because I don't like the Chihuahuas. They, this is, this is, I guess I'm, I'm paranoid like Jack, because Jack doesn't like them either. Chinchilla's nice and soft. 
Okay, speaking of soft, oh, that's a different question. The skin of which animal is used to make the finest grade Moroccan leather? Or Morocco, I guess. The skin of which animal is used to make the finest grade Morocco leather? Not the chinchilla, Ooh, the chinchilla, tiny dogs are bossy, calf, goose, beck with goat, carry in with goat is the correct answer because they are the goats. Here we go. Really? What food item literally means twice cooked? What food item literally means twice cooked? What? Goats, oops, first Corinthians leather. <laughs> it puts this lotion on the skin or one gets the hose again. Love it. Refried. Rue is a Chihuahua Italian girl. Wait, wait, no. You're telling me that the little rat with ears can actually mate with a big greyhound and babies pop out of this thing? No. 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 No, that don't no, that's not, that's unnatural. <laughs> That's real. Oh my gosh. Let's go back to what food literally means twice cooked. I'm still stuck on the. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of like the big ones. You know, does that mean the Chihuahua carries around the step ladder when it's in the mood? Okay. The word, let me get this one out the way. What food item literally means twice cooked? It would be the biscuit. The biscuit. Oh, we don't want that. Okay. We got everything in the next one. <laughs> you all are great <laughs> cat treats. I hate little dogs. Had to stand on. Oh, okay. What product was originally called Baby Gaze? Why? I don't understand that, knowing the answer. What product was originally called Baby Gaze? Picture a little gremlin chihuahua poking its head over the backside of a greyhound. He's very bouncy. Oh, wait, the question again was what product was originally called Baby Gaze? And I don't even know. I. I'm just going to tell you the name. I have it. I'm going to find all the Chihuahua questions I could possibly find on the internet. But a baby gay is called a Q-tip. I did not know that. And now we all don't know that. Okay, now we need cotton bud. <laughs> yes, baby gaze is called our Q tips. I'm gonna go back. Let's see. Yeah, what product was originally called quote unquote baby gaze? And those are Q tips. 
which company has employed the largest number of language translators? Which company has employed the largest number of language translators? Rah, rah, Ruby. I need my drink, yo. The King James Bible. Dominus, ominous, you're not. I forgot the friggin' question now. Oh, which company has employed the largest number of language translators? Think about every time you do a search on the internet. Google is the correct answer. I guess it kind of makes sense, but hey. Okay, I'm putting this in there. I'm not even trying to pronounce this. It just looks like a neat word. Bing, bing, Google. Ding dong. Okay, here's your question. What would you get if you were to receive a Zolo? Nope, I'm not even going to try because it's going to sound nasty and, and perturbed. Uh oh, we have a Yahoo again in the house. Somebody please can control him. Yahoo. Weed. First dictionary. A harp. Whatever that X word is, if you receive one as a gift, it's a dog. I don't know how it's a dog. I'm going to. Since I don't have my Googler tonight, I got to Google shit myself. Oh, here we go. Didn't know the answer. There it is. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to ask this this question, um, but I'm going to. What type of tree killed Sonny Bono? What kind of tree killed Sonny Bono? Poor Sonny. It was a pine tree. The Dollar Tree. <laughs> Either way, it was definitely a soft wood. That's so bad. Okay. Now, what type of tree killed Jackson Pollock? What type of tree killed Jackson Pollock? The marijuana twee. He overdosed the marijuana, poor guy. An oak tree is correct. I didn't know. Okay, hopefully we, we 
Which basketball team did Michael Jordan play for in college? What basketball team did Michael Jordan play for in college? It's one of the blue bloods. Oh, there we go. Orbit got it. Played Chapel Hill, the Tar Heels. But that's her neck of the woods. North Carolina at Chapel Hill. What year was the restaurant chain Steak and Shake founded in? What year was the restaurant chain Steak and Shake founded in? Globetrotters. A calendar year. Oh, I guess I better look at the... What year was the restaurant chain Steak and Shake founded in? I don't think any of you guys is close. 1492 is about as close... Yeah, it was probably like 60 years before most of you were guessing. Light year, solar year. 1993. Leap year. It was 1934. I had to answer. You guys were going to hurt yourself on that one. I just saved all your lives. You're welcome. You're very, very welcome. I don't know what that is. What am I doing? Okay, this is, yeah. What sport would you be playing if you score or if the score was deuce? What sport would you be playing if the score was deuce? Deuce. Deuces. The year of our Lord. Reap year. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Never heard of them. Oh, we got PC for likes. Subscribe. Well, I haven't been doing that. Michael. No, nope. Yahoo again. Followed by Michael. N. Stefan. The Sydney, and then yes, there we go. And we'll give Stefan double duty because we'll just say tennis and soccer. Love the P. What country is home to the Volvo? Volvo, don't want to say that too wrong. You, because be getting out your sex ed books. What country is home to the Volvo? Of course, most of you guys couldn't find it if you had to. The little man in the boat. Germany is not correct. Orbit with Sweden is the correct answer. Sweden. Okay. And I guess we're on car questions for a second. How many cylinders did the first generation Dodge Viper have? How many cylinders did the first generation Dodge Viper have? Four, not close. 12 is closer, but 10 is even better. The correct answer is 10. 10. And Speed got some. Okay, here we go. Okay. I wonder if Dave's still here. In Scamma 
Scanmania County, Washington, it's illegal to kill what creature? And Scamania County, Washington, it's illegal to kill what creature? Beaver is not the correct answer. Deer, bear is not the correct answer. A moose, a bear, a beaver, I'll walk into a bar. There it is. All hell, Bigfoot, Dave. It is illegal to kill a Bigfoot in whatever county I just said. Yes. Scamania County, Washington. Yeah. Well, okay. What is the name given to people who make arrows? What is the name given to people who make arrows? A camel, politician, (laughs) seal, a chihuahua, tiger, camel. Allegedly. Speed got it. It's an arrow maker. Fletcher. Uh, followed by Justin Beck, Carrie Ann, Stephen, and the orbit. Anytime she quivers, you know it's got to be good. So we've got uh, Sydney. Oh, then we've got orbit not only quivering, but we have her. Arrowing, Fletching, Fletcher. Okay, next question. Oh, in what year were the first Air Jordan sneakers released? In what year were the first Air Jordan sneakers released? D, 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 Pong, Ping, Ting, Chong. 1993, try again. 86, still a bit late. 1492, possible. You're close, Romans. You're so close. In the year of the weed. (laughs) The correct answer is 1984 was the first Air Jordan. And I knew Romans would come up with it. 82 is the year that I graduated. Yay. Oh, all right. Get into some Aussiness. What Australian snack is made from the yeast extract left over from making beer? And it's part of a song. <laughs> what Australian snack is made from the yeast extract left over from making beer? I come from a land down under. Vegemite is correct answer. Sydney. Unfair advantage. PC followed. My Jesus and my and Fred Flintstone all graduated in 1492. Me, Jesus, and Fred Flintstone. Vegemite for Carrie Ann. Okay. Um. Ooh, I'm not doing, can't do it. Ooh. What is the traditional herb in pesto sauce? What is the traditional herb in pesto sauce? Sausage. The the, the sausage. PC spelt it wrong. She's in trouble. Basil is the correct answer. We have Sydney, the Orbit, and Beck. Oregano, just because. Oh, then we've got the basil from PC. It's that Cajun basil. Ooh, it sets your mouth to fire. How about okay, one second. Okay. 
What does the final day of Passover celebrate? I don't know how the heck we got religious crap in here somehow. What does the final day of Passover celebrate? And the correct answer is basil. Yes, PC with the wind. Smoking lots and lots of weed. Or just the weed. Or nothing. Death, lots and lots of death. Bunch of morbid people. Ramadan. Um, the last day of Passover celebrates the arrival of the Israelites to the Red Sea. You know when that fictional character Moses parted it and, and years later Ron Wyatt on a, a few hour journey finds all the, the wheels and shit. You have to talk to Dave about that. He knows about that too. The last day of fucking Passover is what it is. Exactly. Malnutrition. Becker. So and flow, yeah. It was a comb over. A fasting period. <laughs> Ate. Uh, 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 uh. Don't want that. Uh, 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 we've had that before. What the? F what fruit is most commonly added to yogurt to make Indian ratat or rati? R a i t a. What fruit is most commonly added to yogurt to make Indian Rate. Rate? Ratatate. Holy shit. No wise wise. It says what fruit. And actually, most people are probably gonna argue that this isn't a fruit, but it is. It's it's not a, a fruity fruit, known fruit. But let me put the whole question back in there. So, doo, 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 doo. tomato is not. Let me go back just to make sure I know what I got. Ranch, got passion fruit, kumquats, raisins, raisins, mangoes, pomegranate, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. The correct answer. is cucumber cucumber is the nope we are you can't eat a strawberry sydney we're all related to the strawberry man hasn't can't bovine taught you anything speed came up with cucumber though uh -huh. What was the original brand of cereal who, whose mascot was Sugar Bear? What was the original brand of cereal whose mascot was Sugar Bear? Do they even have this one anymore? Did it go by the wayside too? Pothead for the win. Snap. No crackle. Sugar Schmacks is not the correct answer. It's got sugar in it. I'm going to say the names. It's Super Sugar Crisp. Bye, cat. Super Sugar Crisps. Well, and now we're getting to Olympic. What is November's birthstone? What is November's birthstone? Topaz is the correct answer. 
Cleveland, not so much. Kidney stone. We will accept kidney stones. Because I've heard they've had a topaz flavor to them. Uh-oh, dogs on the move. Uh... What past car makers ad used the slogan, we build excitement? What past car makers ad used the slogan, we build excitement? And it wasn't Hearst, by the way. A little death humor. Ford, Dodge, Toyota. Pontiac is the correct answer. So Stephen has got it. NASCAR. Oh, yeah. Everything's NASCAR. Okay. Then we got... I'm trying to get to... Yeah, I'll be doing the, the drawing for the card here in a few. Um, what type of food is Limburger? What type of food is Limburger? That means I've got to put up that other one. The Limburger. Toyota, yep, a cheese, be it. Yep. I see cheese. I see cheese everywhere. Everybody got cheese. You got PC, Sydney, Carrie Ann. Um, Justin is disqualified because he's a pervert. He's just trying to think of his new porn name. And he thinks for some reason leg meat is going to be a turn on. <sighs> Poor kids. Beck, Speed, Stephen, Mold will accept. Stanky ass Jesus. Liverwurst. <laughs> Oops, I said steak and ass cheese. Okay, now I'm caught up. There we go. Oh, wait, we have to now. Oh, God dang it. Oh. Okay, according to my number, we're going to do, it says 11. Four, hold on. I'm trying to get my. My go go gadget random. Oh, it's for trivia, you dumbass. No. The random. I never look, look for one. Okay, wait. We're going to go between 1 and 40. There we go. Let me see. Okay, everybody's. Okay, well, we got to 12. Pick a number. What did I just say? Between 1 and 40. We'll draw, draw for the gift card. If we don't hit, we'll carry it over to next week where Dave will probably win that one too. Um, yeah, between 1 and 40, then I'll hit the little button. See, you have already got two of the same number. But you can keep it that way. I'm not speaking because I said that last week. And Damn, everybody's going high. Oh, Earl went to seventh. Justin. I think Justin's got a good chance at it. Because I do go to the fifth <laughs> decimal. I'm so funny. Okay, we got all this shit. Let me go back and count. <laughs> One, two, three. Then we got pie. Okay. We got pie twice. I like pie. I must like pie as much as I like boobies. No, I think I like them the same. Present. Oh, wait. Screen share. Eh. Okay, you got a shirt. Oh, wait. Is it sharing it? Well, 
Can you guys see that number? I'm going to hit it. I bid $1, Bob. <laughs> okay. When I say 140 number four. Did anybody have four? We had pie. I don't think we did, did we? Because everybody went high. Mm-hmm. 3.14. Yeah, and look, PC has it now. <laughs> yeah, but we're doing <laughs> I was a close says. Yeah, but you gotta hit it or we because we roll it over. That's what we, we we did the first. Well, the first. Yeah, the first week we rolled it over, and then Dave hit it the second week. So it just means that next week we'll go do it for 50. And actually, I did. I probably did 150. Oh, well. You know, kid. You know, kid. No, you're not the little Muppet on. What's his face? Is M and M's? I kid, I kid, I joke, I joke. Only I do that. <laughs> okay, now I get remove this. Mm. Now I might finish out this row of questions and then. Oh, I just lost my turn. Wait. And then call it because I've got an early doctor's appointment tomorrow. Um, see here. Don't know what that is. What is sino, so, sinology? Hold on. Night, Earl. Synology, sy whatever the hell is. What is Synology the study of? The science of road signs. I think that's exactly not it. Just look at the word, Justin. It's the study of sin. It's got to. It has sin in it. <laughs> Electrical delusions, um, and we'll make that a quick one. Um, Sinology is the study of China. How I don't know, but that's that's it. Yes, don't forget to support. Become a wavite, a wavet. Wavite. <laughs> God, I, don't, huh, I wonder if I can get up and be ready by 11 o'clock to watch this. That's awful early to listen to Grayson. I'm like, I might be able to do it, though. <laughs> um, ride the wave. Oh, wait, I got to stop. There. there we go. It's having a technical difficulty. I figured it out by myself. Okay, the next question. How many notes are there on a standard grand piano? If you're a pianist, you should know this. How many notes are there on the standard grand piano? 64 is not correct. 72 is and not even correct. It's the same number twice, if that helps. Oh, I can get rid of this. We don't need the calculator or the generator. Okay. So when I said it's the same number twice, what I meant to say is put a nine and a two together. <laughs> or a hundred. I got me myself choke. A hundred and one to get. Oh, Captive Death comes up with 
88. I do believe that is the correct answer. Dave, can you teach Justin about hints when I say two numbers the same together? Not one isn't like the other. Then he goes with 101. Oh, now I see why Earl's always in charge. All right, here we go. Well, I hate to ask this one to you people, but what is a winkle picker or winkly? Well, it's the same word, just put together. I'll put this in there, but. Okay, what is a winkle picker or a winkle pickler? Picker. Oh. <laughs> that was Henry Winkle Pickler. I don't know, but it sounds like it needs to be washed. No, a winkle pickle is an English long pointed shoe. Okay, we're not doing Christmas. Um, hmm. This, this should be kind of obvious, but in Iowa, it's a misdemeanor, misdemeanor. To mislabel margarine as what? In Iowa, it's a misdemeanor to mislabel margarine as what? Yahtzee with potsy. <laughs> Fruit pickler. Butter. Um, whoop, where you go? There we go. We have Justin Beck. Uh, we'll give it to Carrie Ann, Dave, and PC. Butter. Better than butter. What cheese's name literally means recooked in Italiano? What cheese? What cheese's name literally mean recooked in Italian? Hmm. You can't have lasagna without this and not that crappy cottage cheese shit. Not fondue, not parmesan, ricotta. That's the correct answer. Rigotta, ricotta. Dave just might be my Italian brother. Toe cheese. I'll eat it all day long. Mm. Num nums. What do people hang over their doors on New Year's Eve in Greece? What do people hang over their doors on New Year's Eve in Greece? I make a good lasagna. No, it's, 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 it's no ivy. It's no ivy. It's no ivy. It's something you wouldn't think of. I mean, worse than garlic. <laughs> and I love my garlic. I even like this, but you wouldn't think that you'd hang something. You, it, I just don't know a better hint. Olives. No. Onions is it? Yes, Sydney has it with onions. I just don't, I don't understand what the onions is. That'd be one of those things that. God, I miss Michael N. I, I didn't think I was ever going to say that. No, I do. I, it's fun having him up here to be the Googler at least. But uh, according to researchers, which drink do people enjoy more on a plane? According to researchers, which drink do people enjoy more on a plane? 
I would never guess this. And it's not alcohol, by the way. It could be a big ingredient in, in, in with some alcohol with it, but yeah, it's not apple juice. Yeah, without even there's a you you, you pe people fight over whether this is a fruit or a vegetable sometimes. It's red. It's it comes from the stem. <laughs> it's Coke. No, it's actually tomato juice. And their explanation, because once in a while they do give one, says tomato juice. It seems sweeter, even fruity to some. Many who don't normally like tomato juice report loving it while when flying. So you you learn something today. This is for you uh, NASA deniers. What was astronaut? Edwin Eugene Aldrin Jr.'s nickname. And it should have been Boxer. Tomato, tomato, tomato. The beard. Ah, Justin with Buzz. Uh, dang it. I wish I had a pause button. Justin, Sydney, Stefan. PC, Dave, all got air pressure, changes taste, neat. Oh, I never thought of that. Huh? Okay. What kind of fruit is a winter banana? And this has nothing to do with the banana hammock either, you perverts. What type of fruit is a winter banana? Nope, we're getting ready to start all over, Spooky, just for you. You know the rule. If you're late, we start over for you. A gay Canadian. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Joe is never going to let me come back on here. Never. What kind of fruit is a winter banana? A gay Canadian. Um, the correct, a white walker hot dog. The correct answer is an apple. I have, once again, if I had my canoodler or my googler. Okay, here it is. This, this goes back a ways. What is Donald Duck's car? What is Donald Duck's car? Jalape. The Drake, a convertible. East car. Oh, no, it's. Yeah, I would have known. I would have known this. I'm going to go ahead and tell you it's a 1934 Belchfire runabout. I did not know that, and I still probably don't know that. Okay. Which American colonial beverage was produced by freeze distilling cider? Throughout the cold winter months, which American colonial beverage was produced by freeze distilling cider through the cold months, cold winter months? Oy vey, I don't know. These... Oh, Justin, that is so bad. No, no, dad, no more daddy jokes. No more. No, no. Uh, what is it? Hard apple. I'm just because to me, hard apple cider would be, and maybe some of you aficionados, but Applejack would that be uh, on the same line as like a hard liquor? 
or am I just kind of like trying to give one to Stefan? Either way, everybody's a winner. Because if I don't know, no one else knows either. That's the rule. At 10, now we're at 10. Do, 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 do. What is it religious tonight? Okay. Here we go. Simple. Shrimp on the Barbie is a seafood dish with origins in what country? Yeah, we need to break that shit out. Austin. Australia is the correct answer. So we have, oh, we got a bunch of them. Oh, we got Justin, PC, Sydney, Carrie Ann, Spooky, but Spooky automatically goes to the front of the line behind uh, Speed because I did say we we're starting over for Spooky. So they've got to catch up one way or the other. And it's a bloody prawn. Drop bears, drop bears, drop bears. Uh, first marketed in 1952, Prime was a brand of what? Wait a sec. First marketed in 1952, Prime was a brand of instant what? Oh, that makes more sense when I say it right, I guess. First marketed in 1952. Prime was a brand of instant what? Starch is not the correct answer. Iron. You put it in your coffee. That helps. It's P-R-E-A-M. And it rhymes with exactly what it's supposed to to, 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 to say um, T goes yeah this instant goes into coffee preem yeah preem preem peanut butter no it's a creamer there you go back it's a creamer it's an instant creamer I didn't know what it was and then I think like my last time I seen the preem it was like oh wait a second it's cream preem um, I'm not going to pronounce that. Not doing that one. Uh, which band song was the one billionth iTunes downloaded? Which band song was the one billionth iTunes downloaded? Pretend cream. Baby shark. Baby shark. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> the band on the run. I'm trying to think of um, who the group is. It's not. It's not hot. And they're not working. So it's like the opposite of those two words, kind of. That would be the band. Wop, wop. Yeah, that's it. Wet ass pooty. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. It's, it's, I mean, that's a good hint I gave. It's, it's, I can't tell you names of songs because then it's a group. It's not hot, but it's the opposite of hot. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, it's cold, and I said that they're not working. What would be the opposite of working? You're almost there. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Coldplay, speed for the win. <laughs> Ta -da. I like Coldplay too, by the way. That's probably the one billionth downloader of it, but I don't use iTunes. Um, yep, we're good. 
three or four more, and we'll be about done with this. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. What company was formerly known as the Computing Tabulating Recording Company? It's known by a three letter initials or whatever those are called. Those 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 big letters. Not the numbers, but the letters. They got three letters. IBM is those letters. Spooky. For the win. CCR, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Dotacom, whoever they are. Then we got I, IBM again. Okay, that went quicker than I thought. I thought it's going to be a harder one. This is like my second favorite. Just my second fave. Which popular candy bar is named after the maker's favorite horse? What popular candy bar is named after the maker's favorite horse. Spooky! It's the correct answer. Oh, no, but it's not to Mars. Snickers! Boom! There it is. Snickers is my second favorite candy bar, so that would have... Peter, I don't believe anybody got it. Be... Yeah, that's great. Great. I don't want her telling, you know, bragging on Peter because he's got my Snickers. Keep that Snickers away from your Peter, Peter. Um, and my favorite is Baby Ruth. PC's got the other one. So, yes. Good answer, Peter. The last question. What color is known as vert on a coat of arms? What color is known as vert on a coat of arms. I'm enjoy got nuts. Green. Peter with green again and Sydney Spooky. He made a great comeback. Speed. It doesn't matter what he says. He's always right because it's speed. Uh, baby puke green. Uh, at least in Indiana we call that Pee shit, pee diarrhea, pee baby poop shit. <laughs> That's the the honeydew. Honeydew, do me a favor and come here and change the baby. I'm busy. Thank goodness I don't have. To, well, I kind of do. No, not anymore. anybody Anybody else have some questions that they want to ask before we get out of here? The pea soup shit. Ew, I just don't like peas. Don't like pea soup. I don't like bean soup. Yep. We've been there, done this before. One of these nights, I'm going to say, the only questions we're going to have are the ones that everybody comes up with and we ask each other. We're going to be so screwed. We're going to be asking questions about baby diarrhea, pea soup, um, you know, sort of things. And as always, everybody tip your your moderators and in the chat, they, they work hard for their money. And I, I noticed that PC kind of had a button or two a little bit lower than she should have, but I'm more scared of her than I am of her husband. So you know, she can do what she wants. It's PC. I have questions, Gloria, but answers. Well, you give us the questions, we'll give you the answers. We wouldn't lie to you, Carrie Ann. Have you met my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Carrie Ann? <laughs> I'd like to share the good news with you. You don't know how, how bad I want to throw up after saying that. I like smoking pot most days, like it on others. <laughs> oh, in hockey, what is a Gordie Howe hat trick? Oh. Wasn't his assists? No. Hold on, that's... A, I can't believe...
Wow. Pea soup is evil. Anybody got one goal, one assist, one fight? <laughs> I always do, Sydney. You know that. No shit. So Peter was right. Fight, assist, and a goal. Peter got that one. Outstanding, Peter. What? One goal, one assist, one fight. Damn, I should have known that. What? No, actually, like, Gordy Howell is probably one of the greatest hockey players ever. Top five for sure. He just wasn't a ranger. I'm thinking maybe next week Sydney should get the right quiz, the get get me the right quiz to ask. <laughs> I live in Ohio where we have real sports here, like football. <laughs> As a team, we park trucks on the lake to have bonfires. I lost a four-wheeler, not because of a bonfire, but we were thinking that it was solid enough to go ice fishing. We use it, and we normally don't take any me mechanical things out. Yeah. It's a sad day. My quad was down in, in the water for two whole months before I could get it out. That wasn't bad. At least it was fresh water. Okay, any other questions? I went to, I went to a fight. Yeah, <laughs> I went to a boxing match and a hockey game broke out. I love hockey. Okay, some more questions. I'd love that one. One fight, Gordy Howe. And really, for our winter here in Indiana, for the most part, we can't complain. We had that, well, when he first got Jack, him and the pit were outside playing in, you know, like, I think minus four degree weather with, before the wind chill. But that's probably the the worst we've had. We haven't had a whole lot of snow. <laughs> got I got to plug my... I'm going to watch. Oh, Speed, you're making me look at things that it makes my head hurt sort of thing. I'm surprised Joe didn't pop in today, to be honest. Well, be the last call for anybody that has questions. If they want to ask, you can do it. Um, what is the closest planet to every planet most of the time? What is the closest planet to every planet most of the time? Earth. The final frontier. Um, but it's not. Jupiter. We've we got to guess at Jupiter. Or maybe he really knows. He's making up for being late. Mercury, Jupiter, so it was. I, I was going to, if I was going to guess out of Jupiter and Mercury, I would have probably said Mercury just because it's so close, but, but for Jupiter to be way the hell out there. Okay, that makes sense in my brain anyway. Central locale makes it a focal point, yes. Just like Michigan is the focal point of the world. True? True that? Okay, I think with that, I'm going to shut her down. God, only after two and a half hours. But, yeah, like I said, I've got to get up. 
for a doctor's appointment that I'm not a morning person at all, as it should be. Because that's where the f- people go to get fed, is in Michigan. Or have Carrie pull you out on a tractor. Okay. Don't forget to hit the button. Subscribe, like, share. Think about becoming a Kentuckian too. Um, Definitely subscribe if you haven't. Joe's trying to make a big push for it. Um, I do believe uh, Sunday we have purple. And I believe um, Jenny's going to be on too with her forgot who's doing what or why um, sort of thing there. Uh, Then Monday, there's another something that's going on. I'm trying to remember who it is without looking it up. But I better. Oh, gosh. Not very good at being the crew and the the, uh, wait, live. I'm just trying to get Monday. I know who Monday is. I can't believe I can't remember. Oh, uh, Monday we're going to have uh, the clip of the week live stream, AIG response, which would be for Monday. Purple rhymes with orange and Jenny Morgan. Um, going to get into some trans issues, teach us stuff that we don't need don't know and definitely need to know especially for an old guy for me so that's takes us through the, the, the that month and i believe uh, then the following sunday we're going to have beck on and go from there yeah thanks for everybody inside chat that participated once again uh, this is really entertaining for me especially with some of the answers going on. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to shut it down so I can do a bio break and go to sleep. Thanks and have a great rest of the night, week, the year.